Hey there, little ones. Your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Come On, Feel the Noise, originally done by Slade and then later on by Quiet Riot. This is a killer tune that has a lot of changes in it. It's a lot of chord movement, but we need not be scared. I'll walk you through it, okay? For those of you that can just watch what I'm doing here, then great. For those of you that need more help, then stick around. Um, might as well plug the book right now because this is a pretty, uh, a fairly complex um, chart, and I'm going to be, I'm going to try to get through all these chords, try to get through the strumming and all that stuff, but we only have 10 minutes, so I'm looking at my chart here on my screen, but of course, you're not looking at it, you're going to have to write down all these chords, but if you go to yourguitarsage.com and get the ebook that I've got on there, then I'll also give you a username and password to my to my uh, charts page online and you can grab those charts anytime you want as I'm teaching the lesson. Just put it on your computer and you got it right there. Okay, so here we go. I'm looking at my chart. I'm going to jump into it and stick around if you don't get what I'm doing here, okay? So it's going to go something like this. And pardon my singing. I won't, won't play the entire song through, but I'll play all the chord progressions. So it's going to go something like this. song, the verses are all the same, and the choruses, I venture to say, really the, the, the choruses are all the same too, so really we are looking only at two basic chord progressions here. Now at the end of the song, we have a double chorus, and then there is also what we call a turnaround in this song, which is after the second chorus. Um, I think it might have been a, like a guitar solo or a little bit of a break or something. Um, I have to listen to it again, but it's real similar to, well, I'll tell you what, it's the exact same as the intro. Okay, so really there's three parts. Intro, verse, and chorus. The turnaround after the second chorus is also the same as the intro. Okay, so here we go. Here are the chords. Um, we got this basic, um, we got this basic chord progression that's pretty, pretty prevalent through the whole thing. Okay, and it's going to go like this. Um, G for two beats, a D with an F sharp in the bass for two beats, and so the way I do that is grab my D, bring my thumb around here to grab that F sharp. Some of you may not be able to play that, it's difficult, especially for little hands, so, so it should be G, D with an F sharp in the bass, E minor for whole measure, then repeat that. A C for two beats, an E minor seven with a B in the bass. So uh, E minor is like that. E minor seven is like this. And E minor seven with a B in the bass. We take our thumb and mute that low E string. Then an A minor, and then a G. Uh, that A minor is for two beats. A G for two beats, and then a D for two measures. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, repeat. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay? That 
intro and the chorus, I'm mean, sorry, the intro and the turnaround, which is after the second chorus in this song, are both that part, both that chord progression, okay? Good. Here we go to the verse. The verse is going to go G for a measure, a B minor for a measure. For those of you that don't want to play this or have difficulty, I'm sorry, there's no way around this one. Any difficulties with these chords too, that the ebook at yourguitarsage.com will help you with that. So, and the B minor's in there. So, uh, so G for a measure, this is the verse. G for a measure, B minor for a measure, E minor for two measures, and then we got this little walk down again from C. C for a measure, E minor 7 with a B in the bass for a measure. A minor for, scratch that, that the, the C is for two beats. The E minor 7 with a B is for two beats, not a measure. The A minor is for a whole measure. And then you repeat that little bit again. So C for two beats, E minor 7 for two beats, E minor 7 with a B in the bass for two beats. A minor for a whole measure. Repeat those eight measures twice. Again, I know this is complex. That's why it's helpful to look at the chart. So, yourguitarstage.com if you need it. Um, so you repeat that whole bit twice. Then you're going to end it with one whole measure of E minor. And then a whole measure of D. So, it's going to go like this. One, two, so remember this is the verse. So, here we go. Um, the chorus, we gotta hurry. We're eight minutes in. Here's our chorus, it's gonna go G for two beats, D with an F sharp for two beats, E minor for whole measure. Repeat that part again. G, D, F sharp, D minor. Next line's gonna go C, E minor 7 slash B, you've seen that chord before. That C is for two beats, E minor 7 slash B is for two beats, A minor for a whole measure. Repeat that again. C, E minor 7, B, A minor for a measure. Then, I'm going to repeat that first line again. Same thing again, just like the intro, second line of the intro, which goes C, E minor 7 with a B in the bass, A minor, G, and two measures of D. So it's gonna go. Here we go. Gotta do this quick. still don't feel like I covered everything. All right, guys, go to yourguitarsage.com, get the ebook, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit some of my other videos, too, because it's all going to support this stuff, okay? Together, we change the world by learning yummy pop tunes. <laughs>